I'm Alan Kenny, Editorial Director with REIT.com, and I'm at the Hay Adams Hotel in Washington, D.C. for NAREIT's Washington Leadership Forum. Join me for this edition of CEO Spotlight is Dan Fulton, President and CEO of Wirehouser Company. Dan, one thing that's pretty interesting about your business is all the different arms that you've got kind of going on. How do you keep everything straight and make sure that everything's kind of complementing each other? Well, any good CEO would say, I've got great people that, that uh, run our businesses. Uh, our, our four businesses are, are in, in a sense different but complementary. So our primary business uh, is our long-term ownership and management of our timberlands. So we have roughly six million acres of prime timberlands uh, in the United States. Uh, we also manage roughly 14 million acres in Canada that support our manufacturing operations. And then we have approximately 340,000 acres in Uruguay. And then we have a large wood products manufacturing business. Uh, our two large commodity products are lumber and oriented strand board. And, and, and they purchase logs from our own timberland business, but they also purchase from third parties. We're a regional home builder. Uh, in the home building business, uh, you know, we build on a regional basis. Uh, we don't necessarily consume warehouse or product. Uh, it depends on you know, what is appropriate for that given region in which we operate, but we are uh, engaged in the home building business and have a sense, certainly a very significant sense of how those products are used. And then finally our cellulose fibers business, uh, you know, we have uh, primary manufacturing where we produce fluff pulp uh, that is sold worldwide. So that's a global business, about two-thirds of our sales uh, occur outside the U.S. Uh, but we have science uh, in the innovation of our product you know, that connects our cellulose business, cellulose fibers business to our timberlands technology also. So in a sense, you know, they operate independently, but, uh, you know, ultimately uh, are all related in one way or another to, you know, the trees and the, the ultimate use of those trees, which in North America is primarily housing. I'm glad you brought that up because analysts say we're in the midst of a housing recovery. We're seeing some signs there. How's that impacting your business? We're seeing a very significant recovery taking place. So this was a very deep recession for home building. Uh, Long-term trend housing in this country uh, should range from a need of about a million six to perhaps a million nine starts a year. Last year, uh, which was a solid improvement over the year prior, was about 870,000 housing starts. So it was a good year over year change but a long way from where we need to ultimately be. Household formation dropped significantly during the recession. Um, household formation in the U.S. Is, should roughly be about a, a million two per year. It dropped to six, seven hundred thousand. And so there's a rebound taking place now as people are gaining confidence. Uh, inventory levels of both new and resale homes are at record lows. And so we're finally seeing uh, the uh, decline of excess inventory from foreclosures. People are going back into sales offices. They're making buying decisions and, and we're all seeing prices start to rise. And so with the underpinning of household formation coming back, uh, a need for housing starts, uh, low mortgage rates, and I think just a, a general increase in consumer confidence. Uh, you know, we are at the early stages of a housing recovery, but it's real, it's solid. And, and we think that uh, we've got another three to four years in front of us just to recover to uh, maintenance levels of what we think are necessary for long-term housing starts. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about your global business. You're already in 10 markets around the world. Are you looking to expand into any others? Well, we sell products globally. Uh, we manufacture primarily in the United States and in Canada. Uh, we have some manufacturing in South America, uh, in Uruguay, related to our timber holdings there. Uh, and then we recently uh, completed construction of a cellulose fibers facility in Gdansk, Poland. That facility in Poland will be used to produce product to serve our global customers in our cellulose fibers business. Uh, in that business, about two-thirds of the sales occur outside the U.S. and the growth in the cellulose fibers markets is primarily happening uh, in, uh, in growing Asian markets and even Europe and North Africa and Eastern Europe. 
So I, I don't expect a lot of significant growth in manufacturing operations, but you know, we do have very significant sales that occur outside the U.S. Last year, uh, roughly 30% of our sales were outside of North America. Uh, the growing markets in Asia, you know, China, uh, India, uh, steady market growth in Japan, and as well as the growing markets in the developing countries in Eastern Europe and East Asia. So we're bullish. All right, well, thank you very much for your time, Dan. Thank you. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to check out REIT.com. <music>